opposition National Democratic Congress is positive that its promise to abolish the double track system for the free senior high school policy will be achieved by the end of the first year if elected in the December 7 polls. Spokesperson for the party on educational policies, Dr. Clement Apak, told Roland Walker, contrary to criticism, abolishing the double track system remains critical in ensuring quality. The NDC manifesto policy of abolishing the double track system has been met with some strong criticism from the MPP and commentators since it was announced. But Dr. Clementa Park, who speaks on education for the party, says all these are pure misconceptions on a policy direction which is easy to understand. We have said that we are not going to end it on the day that President John Amani Mama assumes office because it will be impossible. But gradually, we expect to eliminate and bring this to an end. At the very minimum, we are looking at by the end of his first year in office. And we can do this because we have a lot of structures that we were building across the country, which were not completed. Unfortunately, this government has failed to complete them. One, we would complete them. There are other get fund finance structures which have also been abandoned across the country on various campuses, we intend to complete them. And then as part of our infrastructural push that has been christened the big push, we are going to invest heavily in educational infrastructure, and it is doable. While these explanations seem to bring some clarity to the debate, the decision to extend the policy of free senior high school to private schools in deprived and underserved areas have also been targeted too. And for Dr. Clementa Park, adding schools in the private sector creates an inclusive environment for support and also offers alternatives for students. We have not said that government under John Damani Mama is going to take over and fund private schools. We have not said that government is going to invest in the fiscal infrastructure in private schools. What we have said is that we are going to include them and let the majority leader be informed that this proposal is as a result of consultations and interactions that the flag bearer of the NDC had with the owners of private schools. And it is very clear, they are content with admitting students at the same rate at which the state is funding the students in the private school system.